In this tutorial, you will learn how to get the luminosity of your environment using a photoresistor. So two steps here. First, we are going to make a circuit with the photoresistor and your Arduino board, and then write some code to read the value. So let's start by creating the circuit. You have two legs on the photoresistor. You are going to connect the first leg, so one of, one of them, doesn't matter which one, to 5 volts, so to the 5 volt of the Arduino. And then the other leg, you are going to add two things. First, a 10 kilo ohm resistor connected to the ground of the Arduino. And then on that same leg, you are going to add another wire to a analog pin. So for example, A0. And here is the real circuit that we are going to make. So I have an Arduino Uno board. You can have any Arduino board, it doesn't really matter and my breadboard here. So I'm going first to take a black wire that I'm going to connect between ground here, let's find ground on the Arduino Uno, and the ground line of the breadboard, which is usually the blue one or the one with the minus sign. Then I take a red wire and I connect it between 5 volt and the plus line. Okay, so now my breadboard and the Arduino board are correctly connected for ground and 5 volt. The next thing now, I'm going to take my photoresistor here, okay? And I'm going to connect one leg, okay, like you saw before, one leg to here, to the plus line with the 5 volt. So here we don't need to add another wire, you can directly plug the leg to 5 volt, okay? And then another uh, leg will be connected to a different line on the breadboard. On this line of the breadboard, I'm going to connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to put it here, a little bit far away from uh, the uh, resistor, the photoresistor. So the resistor and the photoresistor, they don't, you can see the wires here don't touch each other. And then this resistor, I put it with the ground line here. So you can see the resistor is connected to the blue line. And the last step is to take another wire to plug it also on the same line here between one leg of the photoresistor and one leg of the resistor which is connected to the ground. And this I'm going to connect it to an analog pin, let's say A0 for example. All right, and your circuit is now complete and you can now plug your Arduino to your computer. And now let's write the code to actually read the luminosity from the photoresistor sensor. And as you will see, that will be super easy. So basically, all we need to do is read the data from the analog pin A0. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create here a define for the photoresistor pin, okay, A0. So with this, I can use photoresistor pin anywhere in my program. And if I ever change the pin for the photoresistor, I just need to change the value here. Now, what do I need to do in the setup? Do I need to initialize the pin? No, I don't need to do it because an analog pin by default is actually an analog input pin. So it's already an input pin. So the thing we can do now in the loop is to get, so let's say int luminosity is equal to analog read. So the function analog read will go into an integer here and you just put the name of the pin here, A0. And there you get the luminosity. So basically the analog read function will return a number between 0, so between 0 and 1023, which corresponds actually to 0 volt, so between 0 volt and 5 volt for the Arduino Uno. So when you modify the luminosity in your room or in your environment, the photoresistor will basically modify the voltage that you can read on the pin. This voltage will be translated into an integer number that you can actually read in your program and that you can process. So now how will you know that it's dark or it's not dark? Well, simply you will have to make tests and you will see that the lower the value you get, the lower the luminosity of your environment. All right? 
So now what we can do is we can actually print the value, okay, to see what's actually the luminosity that we get here. So in the void setup, I'm going to do serial.begin. All right, serial begin, and then what I'm going to do here is serial dot print and then just print the luminosity here. Okay, don't print any text with it. And let's add a small delay of let's say 100 milliseconds so we don't print too fast. Okay, now you make sure in tools that you have the correct board. So here I have Arduino Uno, the correct port. Okay, and then you can directly save and upload code let's name it so for example test photo resistor and let's open the serial monitor here and let's see what we get and as you can see so i get a value that is here 400 400 something okay it varies a little bit so this is the luminosity i currently have in my room now if i put my hand here on top of the sensor so of course the luminosity will decrease and you can see now 200 something okay i go closer to the sensor 100 i remove my hand i have 430 something here so well it's correctly working what you can do also to visualize the data which can be quite useful to debug the components you go to tools serial plotter and you can visualize here the luminosity okay so i put my hand again and you can see now we have a lower luminosity i remove my hand and we go back to 400 something okay so that's also a nice way to monitor the luminosity just to get a visual feeling of how it goes all right so to recap here first you define your pin which should be an analog pin okay for the photoresistor and then you just need to do analog read with the photoresistor pin which will give you a value between 0 and 1023 and then you will have to make some tests so for example here I have seen that in my specific environment the normal luminosity for this time of the day is 430 so from this I can maybe create some thresholds to say that if the luminosity is lower than for example 400 then I'm going to make an LED powered on so I can bring more light to the room and of course for you the values will be different so you have to test for yourself and then create the different threshold that you want so you can add some logic and modify the flow of your program depending on the luminosity you read if you liked this video subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future also check out my online courses so you can learn arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point links in the description Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.